This entire lecture is about complex folds. So what defines a complex fold? A complex fold for our purposes in advanced InDesign will constitute any fold that cannot be set up using a default facing pages layout. A facing pages layout by its nature contains one fold down the middle, the spine of the booklet you are creating. Modifications will be needed will need to be made to the default layout in order for it to function as intended. And so in my first example on the left hand side here, this is a traditional book, it is not a complex fold. It has a right and a left hand side page. But if I do funky things to it, like in my second example here, this implies that I have additional pages that are folding out beyond the core or the center of the book. Anything that requires me to do something that looks like the second example, we're going to call that a complex fold. Examples of complex folds include folds requiring additional printed panels like gatefold covers bound into a book, brochures with more than two printed panels, they can be accordion, roll fold, closed gatefold, etc. Single panel designs that fold to create more than one panel requiring a die line to identify where the item folds. Examples include letter or trifolds, French folds, and map folds. You can see on the example slide here that there are many different types of complex folds. I, I would say that almost the sky's the limit. If you can come up with it and you can make it fully functional to where you could fold it, you can create a complex fold for commercial printing from it. However, there are two main categories. I'm going to say straightforward complex folds and then difficult or complex complex folds. This is an example here of a fold-out cover. This is a Vanity Fair magazine that you would set up like a traditional document in InDesign. Maybe it is 48 pages, maybe it is 96 pages. However many pages, the core of the book, this part of the book will have a certain number of pages. But this panel folds out to show additional people on their Hollywood issue. And it has two additional panels that fold out. This would be complex because in order to achieve this, I have to add additional panels that span off of that core of the book, like in my example here. This would be the front cover, and these would be the two panels that fold off beyond the front cover. A pocket folder, a map fold, things like that also require complex folds. However, this lecture is going to focus on adding additional panels in InDesign. If you're trying to create a complex fold like this, it requires a die line. Die lines are going to be covered in our die line lecture, so please reference that for more information. When it is time to set up your document for a complex fold design, you'll need to take a step back and identify whether it will require a facing pages layout with modifications or a single panel design with a custom die line to mark the folds. This lecture explains the process for shuffling pages on a facing pages layout to create a complex fold design. Please see the die lines and spot colors revisited lecture for the steps needed to set up a single panel design as a complex fold. All of the examples that you see on this side are examples of complex folds that you can create using this lecture. They have a core, they have a right and a left hand side page or pages, and they have additional panels that fold off of that.